Ambassador, thank you for joining us. Um, there have been a string of high-profile attacks in the last couple of months. Ten years on, is Afghanistan a better and indeed a safer place? Well, it certainly is a better place. Uh, uh, the Afghans, their lives have changed dramatically compared to ten years ago. They live longer, more kids are alive, uh, life expectancy has increased, and the level of economic development per capita income is higher. Uh, more uh, women and girls uh, uh, go to school and work, and uh, there is much more opportunities. Uh, uh, but as far as security is concerned, uh, there are uh, uh, difficulties that are as a result of two things. One, uh, the complex geopolitics of the region, and as well as some issues with regard to governance. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that remain uh, very challenging. So where should the focus be now? Because many critics would say that 10 years of fighting in Afghanistan hasn't achieved the peace and security that everybody wants. Well, I think the focus has to be on two things. One, uh, getting a regional settlement, uh, particularly between Afghanistan and Pakistan, uh, because as long as there is a sanctuary for the uh, forces that are fighting the government and the coalition in Afghanistan coming out of Pakistan, uh, it, this is going to remain difficult. So getting an agreement that settles some of the issues that causes the Pakistanis to support the opposition, the insurgents, is extremely important. And second, increasing the capacity uh, of the Afghan government to deliver in terms of rule of law, uh, in terms of justice, uh, 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 and dealing with corruption, that too uh, uh, is extremely important. How important is the relationship between the U.S. and Pakistan in achieving this regional stability that you're talking about? This is such a big issue because the whole region is dysfunctional. We need a big effort uh, led by the U.S., but multilateral, uh, uh, big diplomacy, very high level intense uh, to get a deal uh, that deals with legitimate Pakistani concerns in exchange for secession of assistance to the opposition. And if Pakistan refuses to do so, then there would have to be a concerted international effort uh, to pressure Pakistan, to isolate it and, and, and to contain it, uh, because the alternative is a strategic setback uh, not only for uh, Afghans in, in the continuation of the war, but also for the United States and for the international community. And very different challenges now than people imagined 10 years ago. And many military, in fact 50% of them, now say that the fight in Afghanistan just wasn't worth it. Do you think it was worth it? I do. Uh, for one thing, uh, uh, you know, the reason we went to Afghanistan from the United States was uh, because of Al-Qaeda and because the Taliban refused to surrender the Al-Qaeda people that uh, they were hosting. And now we know in part because of what we did in Afghanistan and our presence there, uh, Al-Qaeda in that region is much weaker. We couldn't do some of the things that we have done uh, uh, without being present in Afghanistan. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you.